In this video, we're going to look primarily at the plastic range of the stress-strain curve. For more information on the elastic range, please see our previous video. And note that this is where we want to design all our parts in aerospace. What we have here is a typical stress-strain curve for aluminum. On the y-axis, we have stress, which is a measure of the internal load. And on the x-axis, we have strain, which is a measure of deformation. The plastic range begins at the yield point, where permanent deformation begins to occur. After permanent deformation, the material is still going to be able to hold an increasing amount of stress. However, the strain is going to increase at a much faster rate in the plastic range than it did in the elastic range. The material will continue to hold more and more stress until the ultimate strength is reached. This is the maximum amount of stress that the material will be able to hold. After ultimate strength, the strain is going to increase, the stress will decrease until we hit failure. 